Hello and welcome to your tarot forecast for the full moon in Capricorn 2023. If you are new here, my name is Michelle Shea Walker. I am a professional intuitive coach, Reiki healer, Oracle deck creator, and this is like the 5,000th time that I've tried to record this video. So we are going to dive into some pre-pulled cards and hopefully the messages will be really well versed by now. The first thing I have to say about this Capricorn full moon is that it is sitting on our solar plexus energy. So if you're not familiar with the chakras, the solar plexus is the confidence center, the power center. It's where we hold our ability to kind of be our own person and not be so reliant on the opinions and the advice and the accolades of others and that really mirrors in our total betty goddess cards so total betty goddess deck is a deck of my creation it is always pulled in these readings and it is a 90s icons deck and i have a cat lying on these cards because of course i do why would this reading go any smoother so the first goddess that fell out of the deck because two came out normally i would just pull one but when they come out together they're meant to be together and this one was doubly for another reason i'll cover in just a second but our first goddess is cassandra played by demi moore and the 90s movie the butcher's wife which if you haven't seen and you're an intuitive person you should check it out it's a fun time and it's a message to say that we are supposed to trust our intuition right now, regardless of what the naysayers and the outside world might have to say about it. This is a card that comes with a heavier energy because Cassandra is an intuitive that was punished for her intuitive visions, despite the fact that she was correct. But all of the cards in the Total Beatus deck, we've taken the story from the original mythology and flipped it on to a more empowering perspective. So this Cassandra, because she is played by Demi Moore and the Butcher's Wife, is someone that even though the outside world doubts her intuition, she holds fast to it and creates a more optimistic future for herself because of that. Then the second card that came out from the Total Betty Goddess deck was way too fitting not to take. It is Eos and Celine, played by Romeo and Michelle from Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion, which was rather fitting because I just happened to be wearing one of my favorite t-shirts, which is by Sparrow Boy, and it's also Romeo and Michelle. So Eos and Celine are telling us that despite the fact that we might be feeling isolated with our Cassandra card energy of trusting our intuition when the rest of the world doesn't necessarily believe us, Eos and Celine tells us that we do have support in our corner. It just may be not the support that we were expecting. And in this case, I feel like while you may have physical beings support you in this transition, you definitely have spiritual beings supporting you. And that's the great thing about tapping into your intuition is that you do tap more quickly into the energy on the other side. And you are able to appreciate and call in and ask for help from that support. So angels, spirit guides, past loved ones, whatever it is that you want to believe is in the ether, they have your back right now. But the thing about these spiritual beings is they're kind of like vampires, not in a scary, creepy way, but in a way that you can't have a vampire come into your home unless you invite them. You cannot get help from your spiritual posse unless you ask for it. So they are waiting in the wings for you to ask them for whatever it is that you need, but you do have to ask, which also means that you have to clarify what it is that you're trying to manifest. And guess what? Your intuition is gonna help you figure that out. So it's a really great time period for meditation, for contemplation, for journaling, for free writing, whatever it is that helps you tap into your intuition and get messages for yourself that bring you clarity. That is what you wanna be doing with this Capricorn full moon energy. So with that in mind, we are gonna dive into some elemental readings. So that means earth signs, air signs, water signs, and fire signs are all gonna get their time to shine. And then if you're not familiar these new and full moon readings always start with this general collective abbreviated reading with a few cards and then we dive in deeper over on my patreon so while I don't dive into each individual element in the extended reading on the patreon it tends to be hyper focused the things that we explore over there are definitely about following your divine path and developing your intuition because that tends to be the type of energy that is attracted to joining the patreon so if that sounds like you you might want to check it out and the great news is is that currently I'm offering a seven-day free 
trial for the first two tiers of my Patreon. And the second tier, the Monthly Mystics, is where you get the extended version of this reading. So go sign up for a seven day free trial, cancel any time. You also get access to the recently released monthly tarot scopes for every sign. You'll get to see the extended version of the Sunday Distance Reiki recap. And you'll also get a glimpse at Monday's Week Ahead Spread and Goddess Card for the week. So it's a great time period at the beginning of the month to check in on everything over there and you can do it free for seven days. So if you want that, go to patreon.com backslash Michelle Shea. If you want a clickable link for that, it'll be in the description box on YouTube. And without further ado, we're going to dive into our elemental readings. So first up, we pulled the earth signs because we are in a Capricorn full moon. So earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Your two cards, your energy and advice that came out from the Modern Witch Tarot are the Four of Swords, which is very fitting for our Cassandra, trust your intuition and tune out the outside world message. And the Knight of Pentacles, which is very fitting for earth signs because Pentacles is an earth energy. So the overall message for these two cards is again, echoing Cassandra, which is no matter what storm or chaos is in the outside world around you, no matter what opinions are being thrown at you, you really want to tune out and unplug whenever you need to tap into your intuition. So if you are being too caught up on social media and the opinions of others, or just asking everyone around you what they think you should do with a situation, it's time to stop that. It's time to quiet things down, to shut things off, to sit in stillness, meditation, whatever it is that works for you to tap into your intuition and see what your gut is telling you. Because again, this full moon is sitting on the solar plexus, which is literally our gut and our seat of power. So if you can find confidence in your own ability to know what you want for your future and to see into it with your intuition, then you can move forward. Just know that because we do have the Knight of Pentacles, you're going to move forward at a slow and steady pace. So don't get too discouraged if you tap into your intuition and you start to take actions and you don't immediately see success. You will be seeing success, but it's going to come in little by little, drip by drip. You are going to build this foundation brick by brick. And that's okay because that's how you build a really strong foundation by taking things slow and steady. So know that while it may not be quite as exciting as it would be if this was a Knight of Swords energy, just diving right into success, it's probably going to feel more stable in the long run. And quite frankly, for earth signs, this is going to be the way that resonates more for you and doesn't make you feel like you're kind of getting the rug pulled out from underneath you in this transition. So I hope that served you well, Earth Signs. Up next, we're gonna move into Water Signs as we are in Cancer season, so Cancer Scorpio Pisces. When I shuffled the deck for you, Water Signs, I actually had lots of cards fall out at once, so instead of two cards, you're getting four cards, but it's okay, because they all have a message that kind of goes together, so don't get overwhelmed. First up, we have Justice. Next, the Emperor. Then, the Nine of Wands, and finally, the Five of Wands. So this is definitely a message that's coming in to tell us that the stuff that we're trying to tune out from the outside world and tune into our intuition on here are about letting go of comparison and competition. So you might have felt like you're trying to strive for a goal, but it's already been done before, or someone that you follow online, you feel like is doing it better, or there's definitely a feeling here for water signs of comparing yourself to the outside world or those who, those who have come before you with a certain goal. And the universe is telling you with the justice card that everyone's gonna get exactly what they deserve and that there's more than enough to go around. So don't feel like that just because someone else has done something similar in the past, you're not allowed to follow your intuition towards a path that works for you. Because ultimately, no one's ever gonna do it in the exact same way that you do it, especially if you're tapped into your intuition rather than trying to listen to the opinions of the outside world. And then the emperor card tells Tells us that you have a really great vision for where it is that you want to end up because the emperor has good big picture vision. 
So the key here is to be able to get to work on what it is that you're visualizing for your future. And the thing that's getting in the way of that is constantly comparing yourself to others. So you might even be comparing yourself to others under the guise of looking for inspiration for this thing that you're working on. And the universe is telling you that you don't actually need that inspiration from the outside world because it's coming from the voice within. The nine of wands tells me that once you let go of this need to compare or to seek outside inspiration or approval, you will move forward towards this goal much quicker than you think you we're going to because the nine of wands tells me that you are so much closer than you think you are you're so much more skilled at this thing than you think you are and you don't need this outside world inspiration and you need to stop comparing yourself to those around you because you are a unique cocktail of energy that's never been seen before on this planet and the planet needs whatever it is that your intuition is calling you to bring forth into the world I hope that served you well, water signs. Moving forward into our air signs, which are Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We have the strength card and the high priestess. So of all the readings, air signs, your cards are echoing big time our goddess Cassandra energy because the strength card and the high priestess are all about finding strength in your intuition and trusting your own motivation forward and trusting the messages that you're receiving without needing to check in with the outside world. Are we seeing a pattern here? So your spirit guides are there for you. Your intuition is there for you. These are pretty much the same energy cards. I like to call Cassandra the high priestess of the total Betty Goddess deck. And you just have to be able to trust yourself. String card is also a really great solar plexus energy. So finding that confidence in trusting your intuition is key. And I think you're almost there, air signs. I think if you're watching this, you already are to a point that you feel pretty confident. You've got a pretty good intuitive practice going down, or at least you know how to tap into your intuition pretty well. And this is just a card reading that's reminding you that you have that confidence and you have that strength and that you are really keen on following your intuition right now. So trust that. Trust your gut and move forward because yours is the only opinion that matters right now. I hope that served you well, air signs. Finally, we have our fire signs. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Your first card is the Page of Cups. And your next card is the Queen of Swords. So I'm getting for air signs that you're actually being called by your intuition into some sort of creative endeavor or maybe romantic relationship because cups do give that energy. But I think for most of you watching, I'm getting big creative endeavor energy that I don't really feel a lot of romance distracting you right now. This is about following that intuitive impulse that you have to create something. And it could be creating something that feels really artistic or it could just be creating a connection in the world. It could be creating something as simple as a safe space for yourself in your home to meditate and tap into your intuition more often because the queen of swords is about creating a safe space and sort of a fortress for yourself. The queen of swords I like to always imagine as a castle with a moat and a drawbridge and the queen of swords has full control over the up and down motion of the drawbridge and she is not afraid to pull the drawbridge up if someone's approaching that's not going to serve her energy. So your message and following this in intuitive impulse that you're getting towards creativity is to just completely have no apologies about shutting out the people that aren't going to be in support of it. You may be able to invite them back into your life eventually, but when you are working on this creative endeavor, whatever it is, only invite in the energies that are in full support of that. And that includes physical beings and spiritual beings. So invite in whoever it is that's gonna help you to intensify your creative powers. This is a really great time to look for maybe people that you don't know that have passed on to the other side that have done things that you want to do with your creative energy. So maybe it's musicians or artists or actors or writers that have passed on that you can ask to come in and assist you in your endeavors and sort of be a channel for those energies.
So if this resonated for you, regardless of your elemental sign, we are gonna dive into the extended reading over on the Patreon, which is 10, 12, 13 cards for everyone that shows up over there as to how to further develop your intuition in the current situation. And if you are watching this on the Patreon, the rest of your reading starts right now. 